What's going on traders? It's Ricky with TechBud Solutions. So just another recap on today's trading. I want to give a shout out to again all the members that participate in today's trades. We had one of our bi biggest What's going on traders? It's Ricky with TechBud Solutions. So just another recap on today's trading. I want to give a shout out to again all the members that participate in today's trades. We had one of our bi biggest momentum trades as a collective group today um, and it was with TOPS right away right off the bat uh, during the pre-market movers in the tech but solutions group chat we started talking about you know stocks before the actual market opens and what can actually be doing pretty well um, and the one that ended up popping out a lot was CERU uh, and TOPS I identified a good support um, on TOPS at 110 and I'm gonna talk a little bit about that this one was one of the big players today uh, brought in $270 worth of profit within the first five minutes of trading ended up trying to get in again um, and lost a little bit over ten dollars nothing crazy um and i'm going to be sharing pretty much like what played out and and why i think this group um did so well so again uh tech but solutions the link is provided for you down below if you guys would like to join um overall let me talk, tell you a little bit more about kind of like what we do so well um so again a lot of group chats or a lot of like messaging boards are very manipulative um and are you know usually just to benefit the the buyer or the individual trader what we do so well and what i think separates tech but solutions uh compared to any other you know trading platform is that we're a team and we try to help one another um so right off the bat the the thing that i make you know Tech but Solutions focus on is sharing best practices and sharing mistakes and effort for everyone to be exposed to, you know, every opportunity but, uh, possible. Um, and that that's essentially what, what happened today. TOPS had a really strong support. And what I mean by that is that we identified a strong support at $1.10. So if we do a two day analysis on TOPS, it's all about managing risk and, and setting up a plan, right? So as you guys can see at 110, so this line right now is at 112, but if we go down to 110, there was a support at 110, meaning that it didn't go below 110 and it held very well. So it would bounce at 110, hit about 120 and then come back down, bounce at 110, hit about 120, come back down during pre-market hours. It hit highs of about 115, but then was trading at around 111. And that's what you see right here. When I shouted this one out uh, during pre-market hours, uh, TOPS was around 111. I tried to get, um, you know, the bid size was 113, ass was 114. Ended up getting filled at 112 because it moved down, um, and a couple traders followed. Um, and my whole plan was, you know, uh, it's all about, you know, managing your risk. So I knew that the support was at 110, so I'd cut my losses anything below 110, right? Minimizing my loss. And what's the potential profit, right? I knew the resistance was around 120, so to not be greedy, I was going to sell at 120. I did not expect this huge spike that that happened, um, but it's how it played out. A, a good amount of traders ended up riding it from like you know the 118 all the way up to like 154, 150, 140. Um, huge amounts of profit overall. I got you know uh, within the group chat, I think people started sharing that you know they made. I think $2,000 was one of the most that someone made, um, $1,100, $700 profit. Um, and it kind of goes down the list, right? Um, everyone just talking about, you know, what it is that they made off of tops, um, different stocks that they were trading. Um, and then it starts, you know, they start locking in the profits. And that's really when, when it starts to come out, you know, $1,200 today, um, $700 today. And again, um, I didn't lock in the most profit and I usually don't always lock in the most profit. Um, because I tend to lock in my profit, you know, a little bit sooner. And that's definitely something that I can work on, right? Um, but overall, the group, because of this exposure that, you know, this, this group had allowed them to have, um, is really what I think led to their success. Themselves as traders, uh, were able to identify and set up a plan, which is something that we suggest every single time you guys trade. And then with that, people were just able to lock in, you know, 10 percent plus with a profit all over all over the group chat today. And it was just amazing. Um, with all the profit that these people were able to bring in um, and ended up hitting you know highs of 150 on my second try for TOPS I tried to get in at 140 I was up um, up to 154 so I was up you know nearly 10% um, but then again I I thought it was going to continue to rise I should have followed with the trailing stop loss but I didn't ended up stop lossing out at 1.399 and then from there just took a huge plummet all the way down 
um, and then started rising, but is slowly, most likely going to bleed back down uh, to where it started. Overall, you know, I, I learned my lesson. I made a quick profit. Um, I learned my lesson. I should have just locked in my profit and not gotten greedy. So I should have locked in my profit li like I did down here. Uh, but again, that that's pretty much it for TOPS. And I'm so happy that all the members that traded with us today were able to, you know, bring in a, a large amount of profit. Um, and I can't thank you guys enough for the support. I mean, this group definitely would not be possible. It wouldn't be so, you know, just powerful if it weren't for you guys um so the second stock that i ended up shouting out was etrm um and then i ended up shouting out jnug which i ended up going in as well etrm with my alert i shouted it out um when it hit lows of five well i shouted out right here right when it was at lows of 571 as it looks like a good hold um but then i also gave it a shout out let's see if i can catch it um, when I shouted this one out, um, it was at five dollars when it went below 540. So I hit five dollars and 35 cents. Um, so with that, is I, I was waiting for the bounce, ended up you know having a solid bounce and ended up jumping in at 540. Um, so from that 540, from my alert from 540, um, ended up jumping up and I set my alert um, and I had a stop loss set right. Um, I'm going to get a little bit closer. So this is when it went below 135, uh, 535, ended up getting in at 540, ended up hitting highs of 590, and that is exactly where I sold. Why did I sell at 590? It's because I identified that as a previous resistance. So I knew it would usually trade around, you know, the 570 uh, to 580 range, but I knew once it passed the 580, because it already did before, um, it came back down and then uh, just popped right through. And then that's when I sold at that 590 mark. It was I was able to lock in $277 worth of profit. And it's because of this previous resistance that I was able to identify here. I'm going to go a little bit further back so you guys can see a little bit clearer. Like we know, old supports become new resistance levels. So I knew it was going to have a little bit more of a difficult time to push above 590. Um, I was thinking of holding this one until it went above um, 660. Uh, but again, just wanted to lock in the profits. It looks like it's on a downward trend right now, um, and it's trading around 564. So I, I did great. Again, I found a good entry point, so my support, found a good exit point, my resistance. I set up a plan and I managed my risk, you know, cutting losses short um, and locking in profits when it's realistic, right? Um, and that's exactly what I did. Now for JNUG, I did the same thing. Um, I got in at 660 and it's touched this multiple times. I haven't sold, it's even gone lower, but I identified 660 to be a good buy point because of this EM, uh, EMA indicator. Uh, JDST, which is a kind of like inverse of JNUG, um, is really high right now and it's hitting a resistance at $15. Most likely that's gonna see a downward trend and then that's when JNUG starts to pick up. And again, I just, I, I've traded JNUG and JDST, so I'm familiar with their trends, um, and I'm expected to sell around 736. So stay tuned for this. Maybe I'll end up holding until tomorrow, uh, but hopefully I can sell by the end of the day uh, to lock in a little bit more profit. Um, overall, it was an amazing day with a you know, total of three trades that I've bought and sold. Um, All together, collectively, I was able to bring in $537 worth of profit, and this was simply within like an hour and 30 minutes of trading. My first 270 dollars worth of profit within the first six minutes then i lost 10 uh, a couple minutes later and then uh when i filled on etrm uh, at my sell point at 590 um, you know that was just the cherry on top and now i'm just waiting for jnug i'm up about 10 cents currently or nine cents um but again i'm not too worried i do have a stop loss set again managing my risk um and you know setting my my in a sense uh plan for success so that is pretty much it, guys. I do want to thank you guys. And if you guys would like to be a part of TechBud Solutions, the link is provided for you down below. And if you want access to any of our group chats, the links are provided for you on the top of the page. And then you can join all of them. You can join a selected amount, depending on what it is that you want to join. Um, and we just hit over 6,000 subscribers on our YouTube channel. So I do want to thank you all for the support. If you haven't done so already, we do upload daily recaps like these. Um, and, you know, on Monday through Friday, every, every day, 5.30 Mountain Standard Time, I upload a helpful video to give you guys a better understanding on what's led to my success when it comes to investing and penny stocks as well. And then every Saturday I do upload, you know, a fun video with all the different supercars that we own. So, you know, thank you guys again for all your help. Um, if there's anything I can do for you, feel free to reach out to me um, and I'd be, you know, more than happy to be a part of your success. Um, I hope you guys have an amazing week and hopefully you guys ended it on a green note. Take care, guys. Oh,